All right, I hope you guys are enjoying the road adventures of Kurok so far. Um, these clips are edited all over the place, so whatever I was talking about a second ago, I might not be talking about right now. This is just a little segue, if you will. I'm on a little lunch break, but I just thought I'd jump in and remind you guys today is a great day to shop with Q-Rock. That's right, you can shop with us online. In addition to being the guy that's bringing you all the cool side hustles that are out there, you can also shop with us online. Make sure you tap the links down in the description. Shop with us on Amazon, eBay, Offer up Macari. Shout out to everybody on Macari. Macari is, I like Macari. I just started out over there recently. I love it. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to pull in over here, get a little quick bite to eat, and we're going to get back to the missions, Road Warrior style, side hustles with Coach Q, and all of that. See ya. still in traffic and that made me think you know what i'm gonna add this little clip pros and cons to this independent gig worker life biggest con or biggest drawback is the majority of my time is spent on the road a huge chunk of my time is spent researching gigs and trying to figure out which gig is actually worth the money which one is going to pay me as opposed to me just working for free and the other get the other drawback is time time on the road and traffic with people who drive crazy first of all let's have a question for all the all the car owners out there that have those nice pretty cars and teslas and you know bmws and benzes and everything else and all these luxury why spend all the money on these cars if you're just going to be out on the street driving crazy like i would think you want to protect your investment y'all drive like y'all don't care No, I'm just, I just thought I didn't interject that because that felt like a good thing to interject into this clip. So yeah, make sure you guys have patience because the road will test you severely. Man. Okay, well, we're here at the location for the inspection. We're gonna go in here. I'm gonna see if we can get this done quick without any issues. This is my first one, so wish me luck. It's a little, it's not a lot. It's not, it's not that intensive. Just a few questions, but it's kind of this one. You kind of have to stick to the script, and hopefully, it should go nice and smooth. But as you can see can't show you exactly which retailer I'm at but just an average parking lot parkway in the back and that is not by choice there's no parking let me go to work I'll be back all right y'all um, so yeah like I said with these videos they're gonna be compilations because I'm not gonna be shooting in real time with my fuzzy face self I'm just shooting whenever the mood hits but I am dedicated to the 90 day challenge. I need to be dedicated to the barbershop. Shout out to Goose and everybody over at Legends Barbershop. I'm gonna have to come see you guys. When I come in, I'm gonna look like the man from the tundra because I'm gonna be out here until I get all the money. I'm on some Pokemon, gotta catch them all. So right now it is the 23rd, am I? Is it the 23rd? I think it's the 23rd of October and we are continuing with our corporate investigations they don't like the a word they don't like the audit word so their inspections compliance inspections um, image inspections image evaluations evaluations is a better word to use for everybody out there watching this that may be trying to figure out what it is to be a mystery shopper so as you can see, I got my vest on. That means I am doing revealed audits, somewhat revealed. There's a mystery portion of it. And then toward the end, I go back in and let them know that I'm there to do the 
evaluations. And man, guys, listen, do yourself a favor and click those links in the description. There are a few companies listed there. I don't want to say names, but I will click or I will list companies so you guys can try to get in on some of this action. Um, this one particular gig is pretty lengthy. It'll take you anywhere from, or it's taken me about averaging from 45 minutes to an hour to complete. So it's kind of thorough, but a lot of it is just waiting for people to get out of the way so you can respectfully do what you have to do. I don't want to give away too many secrets. I don't know what we can say on these kind of things. Um, but of course, with a lot of these audits, you're going to people's places of business. Um, business is still going. You do not want to interrupt their business, right? Um, so you kind of have to wait. And it's a lot. There's a lot of pictures. There's a lot of questions to be asked. There's a lot of taking consideration. But with that being said, so far, I've only been doing this particular um, image evaluation for a week. This is my first week into it. Uh, for some of you older guys in the mystery forums, you kind of, I don't know if you hate guys like us, these newbies that come in and just start jumping in and taking all the gigs, but hey, pardon me, I'm trying to trying to figure it out. Um, but I could use all the help I can get, all the advice from you guys. There are some very um, knowledgeable people on a lot of these forums I'm seeing, and I'm already seeing the wisdom in some of their suggestions. I'm also seeing that I need to dust off my car a little bit before the next presentation. But anyway, where I'm at right now, like I said, this is a lengthier thing. Uh, I guess I could say this much. You're, you're doing an image evaluations of gas stations, basically. Right? So you're making sure that everything is, is good. But you're not coming in trying to be the super sleuth investigator. You know, you don't want to cause too many ripples. There are going to be issues. They expect certain issues to be in certain places. You just kind of have to make sure everything is pretty much up to standard. So you're taking a lot of pictures of a lot of gas pumps, a lot of wide shots of different um, businesses. And in this particular one, I'm in California. I'm in Southern California, in Los Angeles to be exact. I'm blessed because there's an abundance, an abundance of work out here. You kind of have to be on it and checking daily to see when they post the gigs. They're not up every day, but when they do hit, it's almost too many to catch up. I'm wasting a lot of time right now just talking to you guys, trying to explain what this is. But I am sitting here today trying to get my route together. I think I have up to 15 stops to make. It's a lot. And these are great because you have to, or part of the um, inspection is actually purchasing gas, which you are reimbursed for. So there's no excuse for you to not want to drive it's too far you can't afford to guess you're going to get that money back all of it so actually my goal today is to fill this car up before i go home and i'm a little at a quarter tank so it's about a gallon per stop i've got maybe 12 to 15 stops to make let's see if i can do them all i'm gonna get my act together over here you'll get some road shots of us driving around and that's it Hope you enjoy the show. If I do come back today on the 23rd, maybe later tonight, we'll do a little quick recap. Um, but yeah, this is going on a compilation of the side hustle with Coach Q Extravaganza. Let's go. Just threw the chancla at him for real. She hit him with the chancla. Hey. 
Please get the taxi more Ask me why I didn't do my damn short You didn't have an answer for no more Swear I learned to listen on the low key Show most days she didn't want to know me Now I miss those old days on the low key In 1,000 feet, turn right after KFC on the right. Uh, quick question. Is it true that when you record, you there's only one take and you're done. Oh. I heard it, I heard it about Nel cielo passano le nuvole che vanno verso il mare sembrano fazzoletti bianchi che salutano il nostro amore Who should decide the future of the Amazon? The future of our people? Of our languages? Of the jaguars and the anaconda? Of the spirits living within our lands? Should the loggers get to decide the fate of our forests? Should the oil executives decide the future of our rivers? We've been protecting our sacred lands for thousands of years. So that our children and your children may live on a healthy planet. Today, we are fighting for our right to protect a forest that gives us all life. Our battle is about who should decide the future of our forest homelands. Those who destroy it or those who protect it. Join us. <laughs>